Hi, greetings from the Willow Room. Uh, it's February already. Uh, we have Lent in this month and also Mardi Gras. Lent begins the 24th, so all those that observe Lent, uh, we're going to do something with seafood, shrimp, and something since Mardi Gras is this month also. I thought we'd do a Cajun recipe, so we're going to do shrimp creole. Uh, what we need to do first, I have some butter melted in the pan. That would be three tablespoons of butter. Into that, we're going to incorporate two tablespoons of flour. Uh, we're going to make a, a red roux. There's uh, couple different kinds of roux. Blonde is uh, a type. Red is the next one, then a brown roux. And what those colors refer to is the length of time you cook this. So to make a blonde roux, you're, you would incorporate your oil, which is butter, and the flour, and just let it uh, cook for about uh, maybe three to five minutes. We're going to do a red roux, so we're going to need the, the flour, flour will start changing color. Okay, the recipe calls for two medium onions. Unfortunately, I don't have two medium. I have one large, so that will do just fine. Take this onion apart. We're going to dice this. All right, the onion's diced. Uh, we're going to dice up one green pepper now. Actually, we're going to use two green peppers here. But take the size off of this. As you can see, our roux is getting a little foamy. That'll happen. Um, the main thing about when you're making the roux is you want to, uh, if you have a whip, Make sure all the flour is incorporated into um, into your roux. If I was making a roux to thicken a sauce or a soup, a cream soup, I'd add a lot more butter than what's in this pan, so don't let that fool you uh, if you make a roux another time to thicken something. This is entirely too thin to thicken something with the roux, but as this recipe goes, you'll see we're going to throw some vegetables and stuff in there. And just with the addition of that flour that's already in there, it's going to help to thicken our uh, our recipe. Okay, our pepper's chopped. We have a rib of celery. I'm going to dice this up. Just cut it down the middle. Dice this up. of garlic that we're going to chop and let's go in with the rest of the vegetables. Okay, our garlic's chopped. Uh, put this to the side. And next thing we're going to do is some green onions here. We need half a cup of these. Going to use the tops. Should be about a half a cup. Serve those. Okay, as you can see, our roux. When they say a red roux, it's not going to be you know bright red, but this is the color you want. So 
I'm going to turn this off until we're ready for our veg. Okay, we have all our uh, vegetables cut, chopped, the onion, the celery, the pepper, and we're going to add this to our red roux. vegetables are uh, sauteing there, I'll tell you about the shrimp. Uh, this recipe, I wrote it, it calls for two pounds of 2130 shrimp. What that 2130 means, uh, you might be aware of it, but anytime you see a number like 2130, uh, 4150, 1620, that refers to how many shrimp on average are in a pound. So 2130, you can have anywhere between 20 to 30 shrimp comprising a pound. So the recipe calls for two pounds of 2130. So in theory, you could have anywhere between 42 to 60 shrimp. Okay. If you don't have 2130, you can definitely use a larger shrimp. Um, these are already peeled and deveined. I wanted to show you two kinds. This is what's called a black tiger shrimp. Anytime you see these, um, they're usually farm raised. 99% uh, of the time. This is a wild um, American caught uh, white shrimp. These are generally coming from Thailand or Indonesia. The wild shrimp uh, are always, always going to be more flavorful just because of, of uh, their diet, they're, they're in the wild. Um, these were, I, I've deveined these already. Uh, I've peeled them and I've put a slit down the shrimp and taking out the vein part. You can reserve the shells, put them in with a little onion, carrot, and celery and uh, simmer that and create a shrimp stock yourself. If you don't have shrimp stock, um, like the recipe says, you can use chicken or clam stock or clam juice, which you can buy in the grocery store. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do is, these are peeled and deveined. I'm going to remove the tails from these. You can actually remove these tails when you're, you're peeling, uh, peeling the shell off them. That's what I would probably do. 1620 shrimp. They're a little bigger, but that's all I had here. The uh, little over them. Okay, our veg is sauteed. Uh, what we're going to do next is add our stock. And add our stewed tomatoes. These are just Hunt's regular stewed tomatoes. I have uh, Cajun seasoning here. This is Spice Classics. I picked this up at Shop and Save. This is Tony, whatever that guy's name is, Chachari original Creole, basically the same thing. So this isn't hard to find. Um, we need one teaspoon. This is a third of a teaspoon measurement there, so. We have four bay leaves. Tomatoes. We're going to add sugar. Take a little of the acidity out of the tomatoes. Now, what's going to happen? That flour, that roux we made, that even though it wasn't like a full roux, it's going to help to bind this up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, but as soon as I poured that in, it's uh, thickened it a little bit already. One tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce goes in. And we need a half a teaspoon of Tabasco, or you can use Louisiana. 
Vienna hot sauce. Once again, this is optional. If you don't like things real spicy, just leave it out. Okay. I'm going to simmer this for about a half an hour and then add our shrimp. Okay, our uh, vegetables have simmered. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, it's gotten thick. It smells great. Now what we're going to do is add our shrimp. It's not going to, you want to add the shrimp near the end because it's not going to take the shrimp long at all to cook. And if you put them in at the beginning, that become all rubbery and that wouldn't be good. So we'll let this go for about five minutes and the shrimp will be cooked and we'll plate it. Okay, our shrimp have been in there for about five minutes. It's got a nice consistency to the dish. It's not too thin, it's not too thick. Um, I have had some rice prepared. This recipe will feed for uh, four to six people, so put a little rice on the dish. Some shrimp and sauce. That's it. Great Lent special. Uh, something for Mardi Gras. Till next time, eat well.